Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to discuss how to construct frequency distributions and relative frequency distributions. Many times, instead of making two separate tables, we combine them into one big table, as you see here. In this table, the first two columns comprise the frequency distribution, and the first and third columns are the relative frequency distribution. Now, if you're one of my students and you have a My Math Lab homework assignment, you might be given something that looks like this. Here we are given a data set, and we're asked to construct the frequency and relative frequency distributions. These three columns are both your frequency distribution and your relative frequency distribution. You can see that there are some values missing. In the frequency column, the number of zeros is missing, the number of ones is missing, and the number of twos is missing. One way we could find that is to do a tally. Down here we have a one and a zero and a three and another one and a zero and a three another zero another zero two a one two three five zero i'm marking through it to indicate five of those now five a five two a zero a one a zero a four a two four uh, two, zero, one, zero, one, two, and three. Let's see what we have here. In the zero row, we have nine. In the one row, we have six. And in the two row, we have six. And to confirm that we didn't miss anything, I'm going to count how many data values I'm supposed to have. I have three rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three rows of ten means we should have 30 data values altogether. I'm going to add up the frequencies here. The sum of the frequencies should always be equal to the total number of data values in the set, which we call n. So six, 9 plus 6 is 15, plus 6 is 21, plus 4 is 25, plus 2 is 27, plus 3 is 30. So we do get 30 there. All right, so now let's complete the relative frequency distribution. So over here we're missing the um, percentage of times that the data value 3 occurs. That's the frequency of 3s divided by the total number of data values. The frequency of the data value 3 is 4, so that's going to be 4 divided by 30. Opening our calculator here, 4 divided by 30 gives us 0.133 repeating, which if we round to the nearest whole percentage point is going to be 13% approximately. So we would put a 13 here. The frequency of the 4s is 2. There were two 4s in our list. So we're going to take 2 divided by 30. 2 divided by 30 is going to give us 0.06 repeating, which is approximately 7%. The frequency of the fives was three, so three divided by 30, which is 1 tenth if we reduce it. So that would be 0.1 or exactly 10%. So that's how you would complete this frequency and relative frequency distribution in my math lab. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That will help other students to find the video.